Welcome everyone to Neverwinter on PC. My name is Reiner and today I'm going to give you my detailed patch notes of the latest preview patch. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like and if you would like to see more information or videos about Neverwinter hit the subscribe button. So another patch was released on Friday and no patch notes are out yet I just checked so you know that you know what I'll do the honors uh, I've been searching through the changes of the mod the last weekend I've been checking what changed and what not up into the details uh, just a quick disclaimer these unofficial patch notes are not complete because I simply cannot see everything that's being done I'm not a developer also I know I am not complete because a lot of magnitudes of encounter and daily powers have changed and I am not yet tracking those. Everything that I am going to tell you is actually also written in my pocket wiki for the people who have been paying attention to the change tracker. Uh, but let's walk through the changes for those who haven't. By the way, uh, the pocket wiki that I just mentioned is free to use for anyone. And actually quite a lot of people are already in there uh, and the link is in the description so let's see how many people are in there right now you can see uh, 83 people so that's great um, and I want to guide this video through and we've done this before through the the change log um, so here you can see the change tracker that I keep with almost every one of my spreadsheets that I bring out and you can see this version 1.2 that I made from the third, uh, 30th of March actually has multiple cells because so much has changed uh, and let's just start from the top first of all um, let, shall I go through this like this yeah I'll do that first of all armor enchantments uh, I only saw one change there and that's the bark shield enchantment it used to give 16k per stack and now it gives 12k per stack. So if we go back to the game, I have the Bark Shield enchantment here. You can see here that it's now 12k, 24k, 36k and 48k. Where it was 16, 32, 48 and 64 if I'm not mistaken. Probably it's also something like that on live. Now, you have to keep in mind values have been adapted and probably this is a reasonable value right now so eh, it's okay so I'm not I'm not too angry about that change and uh, next up the enchantments uh, and there are some changes here um, what I saw and maybe it's best to go here because a lot of percentages changed enchantments here uh, what I saw is all the XP bonus and gold bonus uh, percentages of the single stats went down from I think 56 to 39 is it 56 yeah 56 to 39 that's for the single stat enchantments and the dual stat enchantments so brutal ruthless savage shiny coin and vicious oh and this woven tales and wicked also these went down from 31 to 21 percent glory bonus was not changed uh, I just saw that XP bonus and gold bonus has gone down XP bonus probably a little bit too strong anyway uh, you level up really quickly gold bonus not sure why that's done maybe people were earning too much gold I don't know interesting change anyway not the biggest problems in the game right now I would say uh, next up the insignia bonuses uh, there were a lot of problems in the insignia bonuses and I have to say not it hasn't gotten much better uh, we have the Knights Defense and Knights Rebuke they both give 1.5% uh, health so hit points um, but one is a two insignia bonus and one is a three insignia bonus and I think the three insignia bonus should be five percent so if we go here um, these two one is crescent and regal and the other is crescent crescent regal and they both give 1.5 which simply cannot be right uh, the bottom one should be five percent equal to what we have in some others like here uh, these two 
you can see one is 1.5 and one is 5% and that's in my eyes correct. You can see that also in other places, 500 and 2500. So one is approximately five times as good. Here's four times as good, but in this order of magnitude. So that's uh, what happened there. And survival's gift now gives 1.5 HP uh, bonus, uh, more than the three insignia equivalents. So here's even worse, survivor's gift. Uh, survivor's gift is the equivalent of survivor's blessing. So the three insignia bonus is 1% and the two insignia bonus is 1.5%. So that cannot be right. There's, there's something really off here. Uh, probably the bottom one is okay, but the top one should be 5%. Uh, next, uh, Barbarian, Bar Barbarian's Revelry heal lowered from 2% to 1%. Okay, that's a nerf. Um, protectors friendship, protectors camaraderie, give 50 or 200 armor penetration and defense instead of the 50% and 200%. So the 50% and 200% were a bit much, but uh, where is it? Protectors, these two? Yeah, who's going to care about 200 armor penetration and defense? Oh, it can stack up to five times, just at 1000. And this is 250, that's one, that's, this is just, okay, this, this needs to be bigger, like 10 times as big. Anyway, that's why these numbers are red, by the way, everything that's red, I feel like it's not correct. So it needs to be fixed. And even the devs have this sheet, so I hope they make use of it. Uh, but yeah, I cannot force them. Uh, next up, competence maneuver percentage removal from description. It used to be 2500% combat advantage, which actually didn't do that. Uh, but uh, I guess the tooltip is fixed here and the percentage is removed. Same for Alchemist Invigoration, percentage is removed, gives 2500 defense now. Victim's Preservation bonus uh, changed from a heal to a stat bonus. So this, this one actually looks a little bit interesting now. Victim's Preservation. Three insignia bonus. Um, when you take greater than 30% for 35% of your maximum hit points in pre mitigated damage, you gain 2500 defense, critical avoidance, awareness, and deflect. Might be interesting for a tank, or maybe not. I think all of these are a little bit shitty now. Anyway. Next up, Artifice's Persuasion change from a stat buff to a cooldown reduction on artifact use. So this is this this might be interesting. So Artifice's Persuasion. Whenever you use an artifact bar, your cooldowns are reduced by two seconds. It's not much, but it's a little bit. Uh, maybe it's better than most other things. So that that's new. That's completely different. It used to be some kind of minor heal uh, once again. Champions return, stamina and HP buff lowered from 20% each to 10% each, so that's a nerf there. Oppressor's respite heal increased from 1.3% to 1.5, in line with the others. Barbarian's delight heal increased from 0.5 to 1%. Um, and this is the same buff as the 3 insignia variant, which we saw before already. Uh, Alchem Alchemist refresher percentage removed, gives 500 defense now instead of 500% which it didn't do. Uh, and we have a new name in there, Berserker's Anger. This bonus is added and it actually uses the insignias from the old Artificer's Influence. Uh, Berserker's Anger, that's this one. And it's the equivalent of Berserker's Rage. Uh, but yeah, it, it uses the same insignia combination as the old Artificer's, what was it again? Artifice's influence, which was the counter of this one, I think. So it's, it's a little bit odd that one is now gone and replaced by something else, but whatever. Um, it's probably meant that way. Next up, the mounts. Um, the mounts were super broken, still are, I can tell you. Uh, Armored Axe Beak did, I think, massive damage now to zero, but all the personal tank also is down to zero. As you can see here, there's many, many, many that do zero. There's also one here that gives uh, zero movement, which also is not correct. There's one mount power that's still broken. That's the Ambro Beetle. 
which does a ton of damage. The rest is all zeros in here. That's, I think it's down to scaling. Uh, so that has to be fixed in the upcoming three weeks. Next up, artifacts. Uh, artifacts damage has changed slightly. Um, all the numbers have been tweaked a little bit. It's, it's just the scaling changes that they're doing. I'm not going to find out how they uh, calculate this damage. It's just, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, next up, the sigils. Uh, they had weird names for a long time already, uh, but they put them in line. So the control is now wizard, devoted is cleric, great weapon is now barbarian, guardian is fighter, hunter is ranger. You get my drift. It's called now after the class. I have the giant uh, has a slight change of the tooltip. I don't know. I don't think there was a change of fu the functionality. Uh, so it's just tooltip was changed in this detail. I'm checking this stuff, guys. Uh, next up, the Wyvern Venom Coat Knives, which is a new artifact, uh, now gives 3000 accuracy instead of power. Uh, so they, they're tweaking these new artifacts for some reason. Uh, I guess they weren't happy with the stud distribution. Uh, Erratic Drift Globe now gives 6,000 max hit points instead of uh, 1,500 power. Again, a power removed here. Not sure why. Staff of Flowers now gives 3,000 power, 1,500 crit strike, and 1,500 awareness instead of 6,000 max hit points. For uh, 1,500 power and 3,000 crit strike. So here, this one got a little bit more power, a little less crit. I don't know why, but things are changing here. The, there were also two new artifacts that were not level 300, but level 150, which I already thought was weird. They are now level 300, so they give more stats. They used to give 750, 750, and 1500. And now they give 15, uh, 1500 power, 1500 armor penetration, and 3000 combat advantage. Tobian's ring, same thing. Now gives 3000 power. 1500 defense and 1500 crit resist. And there were also two other artifacts that were a little bit out of line. Um, one, uh, one gave 7.5% stamina regen and one gave 7.5% control resist. All the other artifact uh, numbers here are 2.5% or gold bonus 25. And there were two that were a little bit higher. This one is not, uh, yeah, this one is purple. So that one doesn't count. But everything is 2.5% here, and there were two that were 7.5% and they put them in line. So this nerf, it's just a correction, I guess. Next up, companions. Uh, what I saw in the companions uh, from the ones that I have, of course, and I will get back to that later. Uh, well, actually in a second. Oh, from what The ones that I have is the skeleton went from defense, uh, went from utility to defense, so... The skeleton went to defense. Not sure why. Uh, let me see. Defense and crit resist. Seems logical. It is a defensive power. Uh, the thing that I want to ask you guys. Uh, if you... I have uh, a lot of these companions I have. And that means that I can update the stuff. I can keep this up to date. The player bonus types. The... The types here, I can check whether everything is correct. Everything here in the second column that has an X are the ones that I have. So if I remove this, and I think you should also be able to filter this for a personal view. I think on if you click on this, but I cannot show you that right now because I have some more control. Here. But if you filter this, you will see everything that I don't have. So my request, if you have any of these unbound on the previous server it doesn't have to be in a live server you don't have to give me your ad uh, but if you can copy your stuff and you can put it on the previous server and you can send it to me that would be awesome uh, i don't know if i have my game tag in here but i can add it uh, i will actually do that right now live uh, do, 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 do. It's at high enough. Wait. Uh, don't don't do this wrong. <laughs> Let me change character for a second. Was it eight five seven five? I almost did it wrong, guys. 
So uh, eight five, right? Eight five seven. Five. Yeah, eight five seven five. So this is my handle. If you have companions here that don't have an X yet, and you can send them to me, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, if I have all of them, it's just awesome. Uh, I can do so much more work for you guys. Uh, so back to the changes. Uh, we were at the companions. That's down here. Already in the last block, uh, the optimal stats. So yes, this was also something that was mentioned on the forums. Uh, I also made a video about that one. 1% um, is now 1,000 stats. And at level 70, enemies have 7,057,000 ,007, ratings. Of course, that influences your, influences your optimal stats. The stats for level 70 I added here and I also did some guesstimates for what level 80 might be based on a formula that someone came up with. Also, Lair of the Mad Mage. I don't know if this is correct, so don't use these. Um, yeah, you can use these, but this is not guaranteed. These have also already been mentioned. Anyway, um, yeah, I updated this as well. Next up, some generic things. Uh, companion stat bonus is now called companion influence on many places. So I think if you go back in here, the dark uh, enchantment, for for example, gave three percent companion stat bonus, um, and that was just a weird name because on your character sheet it's called companion uh, influence. Yeah, so they put that more in line, which I requested actually weeks ago. But they finally did it, which is fantastic. Uh, next up, we got some changes to boons. Uh, not the ones that I wanted, but we got some changes to boons. Um, the first boon here used to give power. So 250 power per rank and 1000 uh, HP per rank. The HP is removed from these first boons and has been added here in the fourth boon which is also 1000 another change is that these flat stat boons now uh, stack up to five but yeah do uh, keep in mind that these are actually half as effective now they didn't change the value and because you need 1000 stats to get one percent yeah 250 is it's just one quarter of that one percent it's it's just they got weaker actually the one thing that got stronger is the thing that that was here which was um, damage resistance against certain enemy type that has been added to the fifth boon uh, so the fifth boon now gives increased damage and damage resistance both against a certain enemy type by 1% per rank and they stack up to five times so these especially with the changes and the fact that these have been combined seemed seem definitely to be the way to go maybe you can take out the dinos if you're not going to chult and you want to have a special loadout for chult or something like that you can put these points in something else yeah uh, so but these have gotten a lot more powerful uh, next up uh, for the generic things uh, so the boons changed uh, and the movement boon uh, which was broken for weeks already this one actually works now which is fantastic uh, campaign influence I also checked that also works I didn't check everything yet but uh, these two at least now work which is great uh, so the start changes yeah, that's, that's already mentioned here, I guess. Um, companion augment stat transfer has been changed once again. Uh, I have already figured out how it works, the new one. And basically the, the formula has not changed. It's just that the base value has changed. Uh, the formula is exactly the same. Um, combined rating from gear is still not being used. Uh, it's just uh, the base value is now the rank of your companion minus four and that combined multiplied by 100 something like that so the 
progression of your companion level is much more linear now instead of more exponential. Anyway, uh, I'll get back to that one later in another video. Uh, enchantment exchange, ooh, this is a big one. Uh, at the moment, I'm not saying this is going to be final, but now if you exchange an enchantment, it will bind to accounts. And I'm going to show you this for a second. So this was actually um, the opposite before. So let me get on my mount. What 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 it was like before? You could exchange a bound enchantment. So here, for example, I have this bound to account. Uh, this one I cannot exchange. Yeah. So I could exchange an, uh, a bound, even bound to character enchantment, and from the pack you always got in an unbound enchantment, which also wasn't good. But now. Uh, let me trade in something enchantments so let me see what do I have here I don't want to trade in something from there so let's see the rank 13 single stats should be up here somewhere yeah that should be this one uh, this one is unbound so I exchange this one then I get, oh, I already had some stuff in here. Uh, the rank 13 single stat enchantment from here. I can also get a rune stone pack. Okay, I already had one of those. Anyway, fine. If I get the rune stone uh, pack, you can see here now that these bind on pickup. To account so whenever you exchange an enchantment for either a different enchantment or runestone it will be bound to account once again I'm not saying this is final so here's the enchantments binds on pickup I'm not saying this is final but right now on preview it always binds your stuff to account that means um, if you have unbound stuff and you exchange it, you cannot sell it anymore, basically. It does the same for armor and weapon enchantments. Oh, I actually have a bound to character. That's interesting. One second. Uh, I'm going to exchange. Why do I have two bound here? I have a bronze wood bound to character rank 14. Wait. Let me see if I can do this. Uh, it should go to bound on... Um... Can I find it they touched here yeah, flaming should be able to detect the flame right is this the flaming this is armor I need a weapon enchantment here yeah, weapon I think this is it flaming yeah so this was bound to character and now we get a rank 14 weapon enchantment. We get our flaming back. Bound, binds on pickup to account. So this is still in there. Uh, you can improve your binding status from bound to character to bound to account. But everything that's unbound also goes to bound on account. Same for web uh, arm enchantments, it's the same. For insignias, it's not like that. So if you have an insignia of vigor or um, evasion, I think it was. Was it evasion or is evasion still in here? No, vigor of or evasion. Uh, if you exchange that for something else, it will not uh, bind to. Uh, account it will still un be unbound same for the um, empower no the eldritch rune stones if you exchange them for bondings they're also unbound Whew, a lot of binding stuff um, next up yeah so that's here uh, companion gear has increased stats uh, da -da 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 -da. do I have companion gear here not here Companions are here. So this is something visual, I think. 
I think these things didn't give that much. Maybe this is something I'm, I'm not correct about. Not sure, but it seems to me as if campaign gear now gives more uh, points. I think it was like 1600 something before and now it's 3100, 32. So is it double? Could be. I'm not super sure about this one. But yeah, uh, something with campaign gear next to the calculation that changed. Um, other things not in the patch, so it's actually in the patch notes, but I'm going to talk a little bit about here. Um, I added the utility enchantments to this overview, so here the enchantments did not have these four, and I added them for completeness. I like to be complete. Next up, I added an attributes overview, which is this. These are the starting attributes for each class with what each attribute does. So yeah, this is just what it is. It's fixed. We cannot do anything about this. It is what it is. And I added uh, an overview for the stats of augments. So augments have a new power called stats. And this stats power gives 1000 points in three different stats, which can include hit points, where it's also 1000 for some reason. Uh, but the combination of stats is unique for each augment. And there's no logic in there. So I just had to make an overview to see which augment gives which stats. Because if you want to go for an augment, you probably want one that gives power, for example. Um, and here also uh, in my formulas that I use in some videos that I make, I call this bonus SB, so stat bonus. That's what the SB stands for. Uh, so that's everything here. Uh, I want to go through, well, the video is getting a little bit long, but I want to go through the bug tracker as well. Uh, I'm also keeping track of what is happening in the game. Um, there are two bugs that I was tracking are fixed. So Marathon Runner Boon does not give movement speed, that's fixed. Uh, and Dark Enchantments do not give Companion Influence bonus in utility slots, it's also fixed now. And there's also some new bugs, uh, some really interesting ones. If you were watching my live stream, you already saw some of them. So companions seem to use weapon damage from your equipped weapons uh, and for ranges, which one depends on your stance. No weapon is no damage. So what do I mean with that? So here we are to trade of blades. Uh, I am, I don't have some anything equipped right now. Let me equip, uh, let me equip the training bow and I want to summon a companion. Uh, let me summon the tiger and then uh, is there something free no there's not let me fight this one okay shoot it and right now you can see my companion is doing very little damage um, i'm also not doing much but quite a bit more than my companion is doing if i change my weapon to uh, this one it does uh, a bit more for 30 now instead of the 138 from before. So it seems that it's actually using my weapon. Something really interesting on the Ranger, you can stay a change stance, which means that you're using your melee weapon. At this point, because I'm not using a melee weapon, my companion will do zero damage until I equip a melee weapon and then it starts doing damage again. Really interesting. I don't know if this is uh, intended or not, but I wrote it under bugs. It's just really weird. Uh, the next bug, uh, players can now attack without having a weapon equipped. Uh, yeah, so if I unequip this stuff, I can actually attack. And before it said you're, you don't have a weapon equipped, so you cannot attack. Now we can. Not sure if this is intended. You do, do uh, zero damage, of course, because you don't have any weapon damage, which is the basis. But yeah, for some reason you can attack now. So I can shoot without a bow. And that just seems off. Uh, anyway, next up. Uh, on a ranger while performing a multi-prog attack, if you change stance after firing an attack, you use the weapon damage of the weapon in the other stance. 
and that actually relates to what I uh, did before if I um, take a now let's take a melee I'm now in ranged uh, let, let's let's unequip this one I can attack in ranged because I'm not using a ranged weapon my marauders escape will not do any damage so the first proc of my attack will not do any damage but if I immediately change stance oh that was too quick you see that the later uh, attacks do damage so that means the later procs actually use the damage from my offhand which is also weird anyway um, probably not super important so don't fixate too much on this but it's just weird um, yeah and the last one bonding start transfer on companions works different on combat advantage compared to other stats I don't know what this is but I uh, as I said the, the formula is the same but combat advantage gives just a really weird higher value so something is off there Anyway, the video is getting way too long. Uh, once again, if you like to use that spreadsheet that I've been showing through this video, uh, you can find the link in the description. If you have any remarks on this video or any suggestion what to investigate next, feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.